Have you ever heard that little voice inside your head saying that you're not good enough, that you are a fraud, that you don't belong here? That there is what's called imposter syndrome. And I'll tell you what, everyone goes through that. And I'm talking from experience. I've experienced it where I felt that I didn't deserve the, the award. I didn't deserve to be in the place that I'm at. And it affects everyone. Um, most people in business have felt imposter syndrome some point in their business career, in their life, even in their working careers. It causes anxiety, it causes stress, depression, and it's just one of those kind of things that is really hard to get rid of. The more successful you are, the more you kind of feel like you're not worthy and you know, you, you're not, um, you don't belong and uh, you know, why are you getting the recognition? It's, it's somehow just what has developed over time and what society has instilled in us. Um, we, we, we fear being more successful than the other person. We're like worried about what are other people are going to say when we are more successful um, than they are. And, you know, hopefully today I'm going to try and share a couple of things of how you can, um, you know, you can't completely bury it, but at least um, reduce that feelings of being an imposter. And uh, a couple of things, like I said, I've experienced this definitely, you know, th throughout my, my life. And, you know, a couple of things that I've done is know and, and bring it to my attention that it's not only me that's going through this. Everyone goes through this. So that gives me that sense of at least comfort to say, well, it's not only me. Other people are feeling this as well. Other successful people go through the same feelings and, um, you know, the, their mindset. Uh, uh, is very similar at the same time. So really it's a trick that our mind is playing on me and I you know, bring that uh, and I become aware of it. So you know, I become mindful of the fact that I'm feeling that. So that's the first thing that I look at doing when I start feeling like that. Become aware of it, accept that it's there, hold it in my mind that that's what it is and then I try and then I move on from that point as well. Like I said as well, it's very common and in some instances it's very common among successful executive women, um, people of different races, people from different religions, um, people from different with different backgrounds and nationalities, they tend to find that as they're becoming successful, they, they have this imposter syndrome, um, you know, within them as well. So, you know, as I said, it's a common thing. So don't stress about it that much. And, you know, a couple of things that I think that um, I've used over time is you know, I look back at those accomplishments and then, you know, accredited that to the amount of hard work and effort that I put in. So I never just, you know, looked at it and said, I just, uh, I got that award for, for no particular reason. It was always because of the amount of hard work and effort, dedication and focus that I put into that particular activity and task. And that's why, um, you know, I accomplished that and I am deserving of that reward. Some of the other things as well is, you know, stop criticizing yourself or running yourself down. You are capable of doing the things and are capable of the position that you are in. So as a business leader, as an entrepreneur, you know, there's not that many other people that, that can, can do what you do in your particular field. So stop criticizing yourself. You've done certain things up to that point to get to you to where you are. And you know, you've got to um, be proud of what, what it is that you've done as well. Another thing that we tend to do is we really go hard on ourselves, especially as entrepreneurs, as business leaders, when we make mistakes, right? And mistakes are going to happen. It's part of life. If you don't make mistakes, you're not learning. You learn from your own mistakes. You don't become successful um, just doing all the right things. You've got to continuously make a mistake, fall down, learn, fail, learn from that failure, and then move forward and that's again how you succeed so don't take your uh, don't, don't beat yourself up when you make a mistake it's going to happen it happens to everyone everyone um, makes mistakes so accept that it's part of that journey to become successful and um, you do not have to feel like an imposter uh, you know if you if you make a mistake and uh, people think oh this guy's supposed to know everything no you, you can't be expected to know everything and do everything right some, sometimes you're going to make a mistake or you're going to miss something and that's just what happens. 
And then again, you've got to you've got to have confidence and belief in yourself. Um, if you believe in yourself and you're confident, then you'll push through. You'll push through the, 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 uh, you know, that little voice telling you that you are not good, that you are a fraud. But if you're confident in your abilities, you've done the hard work, you've put the effort in, you were focused, then carry that confidence forward into what it is that you do. And then you'll find that these the uh, idea, the, the, you know, the, the thoughts and the feelings of being an imposter will dissipate and um, you, you can push through and feel more successful as you go through. So it's a, it's a tough topic, but it's a topic, like I said, that everyone does experience going through being an entrepreneur, being a business leader uh, at some point in, in your career, that you are gonna feel like an imposter, that you are non, not deserving of the position that you're in, but accept that you know everyone feels that way and you do not need to um, have that mindset you know any longer it will always be there yes but what do you what can you do the things that i shared is how you can um, break through that feeling that mindset and come out stronger and feel more confident in yourself and in your abilities